today I have 10 untrendy trends. These are trends that are actually classics in disguise and are probably items you already own. Stay tuned. So you look beautiful and you feel confident every single day, every single day, every single day. So I have been sharing a little bit about my body type video series and I would encourage you, if you have not signed up for it already, to sign up netamanley.com slash body type. I will have the link in the description box below, but I think it is a game changing video series because not only are you going to discover what your body type is, and it's completely free by the way, but you'll also have access to it, a downloadable cheat sheet for your body type as well as a catalog that is updated weekly every Monday um, for your body type. So it's going to have items. Um, I started with essentials items, wardrobe from scratch items, like the 12 basic pieces that I think every woman needs in her wardrobe. And then we're moving on to trends, statement pieces, signature pieces, and trends is what I'm talking about today. So those, the trends that are really going to work for your body type are going to be in your catalog. And the best way to get that catalog is to join that body type video series. So I'm gonna pop the link up below and share that with you guys because I know what a, what a game changer it can be to know when you're shopping a trend or a basic that you're buying pieces that are going to be flattering for your body. So that's the whole goal um, of that body type video series and I can't wait to launch into trends with you today. So I've got a lot to cover. I've got 10 overarching trends, like 10 themes that we're seeing in fall fashion this season. And, and what's, what I think is going to jump out at you, it, at least what jumped out at me, is that these are untrendy trends. These are trends that you probably already have in your closet. You probably have a lot of these pieces. Hint, red is one of them. I mean, you probably have a lot of these pieces in your closet. So these are trends that you probably already own, trends that are a little bit more on the classic side. For the most part, these are not flash in the pan or, or micro trends or momentary trends. These are going to be pieces um, with, with you know a couple of exceptions, and I'll point those out, that are really going to have longevity in your wardrobe. And as we look at building a wardrobe, that is something I think that we should all focus on and strive for, right? Okay. We want to be modern, but we don't want to just wear something that just says, I, I was bought in September 2023, right? Like we, we want we want to strike that balance. Okay. Let's start with silhouettes. So there are a couple of silhouettes that we haven't seen in a minute that I'm really excited about talking about. The first is the hourglass silhouette and how that's being achieved is by a nipped in waist. So a waistline that is like really defined with broader shoulders um, and just really creating that very feminine hourglass silhouette. This look here is from Azadine uh, Alaya, and it's he's got it's this beautiful um, wide lacy leather belt that is used to kind of define the waistline of this kind of shirt dress or coat dress or something, and and just give it that hourglass silhouette. So we're seeing a lot of that hourglass silhouette, um, a really feminine focus on a nipped in waist. If you're comfortable um, showing your waist, this is going to be a great silhouette for you. If you're not as comfortable showing your waist, provided you don't have a lot of fullness through your tummy, many of us can create a more defined waistline using one of these wider belts. So it's something to play around with and see if this is a silhouette that might work for your body type. So love the hourglass silhouette. A couple of other things that we're seeing, um, are the return of peplums. I've talked about peplums at length, so those of you who are like, no, my tummy doesn't lend itself to the hourglass silhouette, maybe the peplum is gonna be your friend as it has been mine, because it is the artful disguiser of belly bulge. Like, it works miraculously. If it, if the, the part where the peplum starts hits you at a flattering spot, then the peplum will skim over the belly bulge and conceal it without looking like you're trying to hide anything. It's really, really uh, just a game-changing detail. And we're seeing it show up in a lot of really pretty um, and playful ways. I'm really liking a knit top, like a sweater with a peplum in it. This one is um, from Nordstrom, I think it's Nordstrom Signature. I think this is just a beautiful sweater with that peplum built in. Again, like that's a tummy concealer. It is so, um, so, 
flattering. Um, this top from Sam Edelman, this is the Evie Long Sleeve Plissé Peplum Top. Um, just a nice little bit of ruching there around the, the waist and then that peplum that just skims over any belly area that you might have. I absolutely love it. I have many peplum pieces in and lots of pieces for all of these um, trends in my catalog that is going to be linked in the description box below as usual, but I just want to highlight a couple of them. Love from Love Shack Fancy, this Maro uh, Boucle Peplum Jacket. Like, look how pretty that, that peplum is at the top. If you feel like you've got a little bulge back there or you want some help making that back part of your, your body look a little bit more flattered, this might not be for you if you've got a, a fuller bum, but for those of us who don't have a lot of shape in the back, that could be really, really flattering. And then the final one I want to show you is from Bowdoin. This is the Rouge Waist Peplum Top. Um, it's affordable. It's on sale right now. It's it's under $50 and it's got the dark floral that is just everywhere this season. So I love that. There's a peplum top out there for everybody and it can, like I said, really be such a flattering detail. Another um, trend that we're seeing that's related to silhouette is the off-the-shoulder top. I haven't seen this many off-the-shoulder tops in a really long time. Now they've never it's not like they've been out of style or they've ever fully gone out of style, but we're seeing them a lot right now. But it's an updated off the shoulder. And I'm seeing a lot that are like, eh. like I saw a Love Appella top that I was like, I'm not gonna put that in the catalog because it's not a modern um, off the shoulder top. They look different than they did before. Like I really like this one. It's a t-shirt from Madewell. If you're looking for a really wearable way to wear this off the shoulder trend, this is a great basic that's like an updated basic. It's, a, it's an off the shoulder tee that you can wear with all of your skirts and pants and jeans this summer, I mean this fall, and look really um, modern. Um, I love this off the shoulder uh, dress, column dress from Isabelle Morant. This is just a beautiful, beautiful dress, but you're seeing the, the, the style of the off the shoulder. It's very sleek, it's very simple. It's kind of a dramatic off the shoulder style. Um, really, really liking that. Um, this blouse from French Connection is another cool, comes in white and black. Black might be more what you're leaning t t towards for fall, but um, I just wanted you to see the detail on that top and how the off the shoulder looks this season. Because like I said, when things come back, they really do look different every season. I also really like, this is from Cult Gaia. This is their Akari off the shoulder wrap knit top. That's a really cool kind of off the shoulder sweater, uh, which seems kind of counterintuitive, but we're seeing it everywhere. Um, the final thing I wanna show you is, I love this, one of my favorite brands, Favorite Daughter, um, is the Love Sick off the shoulder cotton blend dress. You know, this is just a beautiful, uh, seasonless dress in my opinion, but it's got that that really cool off the shoulder silhouette that we're seeing everywhere this season. Okay, next thing I wanna talk about is um, dark, something that I'm calling dark romance. Dark romance is basically like black lace, darker florals, some some Adams Family uh, references in terms of style, but we're seeing a lot of kind of romantic pieces with a little bit of a goth feeling to them. I really love this because I find that these um, pieces are lend themselves very well to my coloring, um, but there, I feel like there's something in, in this trend for everybody who likes romantic and feminine styles. Um, one really easy way to wear this is this uh, blouse from Legence. This is the Zion cold shoulder satin blouse. I don't really consider this a cold shoulder, but I guess technically it is. Um, that's just a cool, um, easy wearable way to kind of dip your toe into the dark romance uh, look. Um, I also, this, this brand, um, uh, it's Rebecca Valance, or I'm gonna put it in the in the description box. Um, she has, yeah, Rebecca Valance. She has this beautiful Yvonne Diamante Rosette long sleeve dress. This is, to me, this sums up this trend. It's just so perfect and so um, feminine and, but at the same time, deep and mysterious. And so I love, I'm, I'm loving that dark romance look because like I said, these are darker florals or darker pieces. So for those of you who those colors look really good on, this is going to be something you might want to look into. Um, I also love this two-piece set from Saint Cassette, the Adelaide metallic lace tank and the skirt. Oh, oh. It's just perfection. It's just perfection. So you're seeing these dark, moody, fall colors come into um, stores, and I am here for them. Um, another easy 
uh, you know, piece to to do this with is is basically like a printed top um, in a dark floral. Like that would be easy an easy piece to incorporate into your wardrobe that will go with everything else you already have. So this one from um, Isabel Morant Etoile. This is their Li Li Lisa Pintuck top. Don't know why I can't talk today, but absolutely love that. Final piece I want to show you. This is the um, Timo Floral Georgette Maxi dress in this dark floral. So we're seeing just this beautiful, dark, moody, romantic um, look everywhere at every price point. And like I said, the most accessible way for many of us to pull this off is probably with um, a floral blouse and a darker floral. Okay, the next trend I want to talk about is metallics, 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 metallics. I'm so happy about this trend because you guys know I love shine. I love, love, love shine. And there is some amazing um, shine in stores this season. So the easiest way to pull off this trend, I'm going to do a separate accessories video, but of course is with accessories. So jewelry and shoes, 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 and bags in metallics are the easiest way to kind of try out this trend. Um, I have often said that everyone needs a metallic shoe in her wardrobe and I will stand behind that because it is the most neutral of the neutral shoes it really does go with like a metallic shoe goes with everything and um, is an easy update and upgrade to your outfits but there are also metallic clothes everywhere that are really wearable so we're focusing on trends that we can bring into our wardrobes if we don't already have them because chances are you've got a metallic piece you've got a dark floral piece uh, maybe you'll have an off-the-shoulder style or a peplum style already in your wardrobe but if you're looking at updating your wardrobe with some new pieces, I want these pieces to blend in with what you already have and to work with your existing wardrobe. Um, so this um, Retrofet Rami Metallic Silk um, Blend Button Up is just beautiful. It's got that metallic. It's just got that sheen to it that's everywhere this season. And it's a very wearable piece. Like you can wear it with your jeans. You can wear it with your leather pants. You can wear it with whatever. Um, I also like this from Skims. This is their Disco Mock Neck Bodysuit. I think it's super cool. Silver, I would say, is arguably the metallic of the season. We're seeing at at least, I mean, almost as much gold and rose gold and other metallics, even like metallic pinks and metallic reds and all of that. But I would say silver is probably, in terms of classic metallics, it's probably the metallic of the season, but we're seeing everything. Okay, um, I love this. Halston dress, the Rory metallic jersey dress. Often when we think of metallics, we think of evening. And I saw a lot of metallic pieces for evening. So that is definitely um, something you can look at as we're going into holiday season is considering a metallic dress. Um, this metallic off the shoulder incorporates the two trends, metallic and off the shoulder blouse from Chouse. It's um, less than $100 and that's a pretty, you know, a party top or going out top, right? Um, for uh, the upcoming holiday season. But there were some amazing metallics. Um, something that's really, really funky and probably outside of a lot of people's comfort zones, but I have to share this because I think it's so cool. These are the pieced straight like jeans from Frame. They're silver and black. That is so cool. That is so cool. I don't know, even know if I have the personal style for that. Like, I don't know if it, I think that's outside of my comfort zone, but I just, I have to share it with you because it's a really, really cool piece. Another really cool piece that I wish it was a, the, the slit was a little longer because it's incredible. This is the sequin jersey Pareo skirt from Michael Kors collection. So this is um, a $3,000 piece. It's 40% off it's three thousand dollars at forty percent off. Um, so it's it's a high, very high end piece, but like it's so like I feel like one of the movie stars. Like if if movie stars still dress, which a lot of them don't seem to as much anymore, like that should be something they show up on the runway in, like or on the a red carpet in. I love 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 that. Um, okay, so metallic, metallic, metallic everywhere. Silver, gold, metallic colors. Um, just the more shine, the better. Okay, next trend I want to talk about is tailoring. So we're seeing a lot of suits. We're seeing a lot of three-piece suits, including three-piece suits for women, like suit suits with jackets and vests and pants. Um, and, you know, it's a beautiful look if you're going, if you, if you work in an office where you need that, you're going to have a lot of options in terms of tailoring this season, like a lot of options. For those of us who don't necessarily need to uh, lean into the suit trend, you know, at least not 100%. We can take these pieces and wear them with our casual pieces. The essentials are perfect for this. You can mix and match them with, with trendy pieces and with pieces that are already in your wardrobe and they are just 
connectors. They're great connectors. So for example, throwing on a blazer over a pair of jeans and a t-shirt. It's, it's, it's tried and true formula and it's not going anywhere. It's not going out of style. So you can get that sharp blazer and wear it casually. You can get a vest and wear it as a top. That's a huge trend right now is vests as tops. I'm here for it. I love it. I think it's a really cool difference kind of sleeveless top and it gives you that tailored look but it's also very appropriate for August into September and um, you know early fall um, and especially for someone who doesn't want a full suit look. Of course, another way to wear some of those tailored pieces is to wear a pair of tailored pants with a really casual t-shirt or a cozy sweater or a sweatshirt. It's a great easy update and it enables you to, especially if you have these pieces in your wardrobe, maybe you are retired or maybe you're no longer dressing that way for work. If you have some of these pieces in your wardrobe, break them out, pair them with your more casual pieces and they will be right on trend for fall 2023. If, however, you're looking at investing in a couple of new tailored pieces, of course, I have some ideas for you. I am obsessed with this um, set from Argent. Oh, it's so beautiful. Um, it's the color of the season red, and it's the single button stretch wool blazer with these matching pants and a blouse. We're seeing that head to toe red. I'll be talking about the color in a minute, but I mean, that's just beautiful, beautiful, sharp tailoring. Another head to toe red look is this um, double face crepe boyfriend blazer from Michael Kors collection. Um, it's the red blazer with red shorts and a red top. Like obviously there's a trend going on here, um, but we're seeing a lot of really, really cool tailored pieces with sharp shoulders. Um, we're, we're still seeing oversized blazers, but we're also also seeing more classic blazers and blazers that are nipped in at the waist to create that hourglass silhouette. So it's not just all about how baggy can you wear your blazer anymore. These bla blazers are sharper, they're more tailored, and they're cut a little closer to the body this season, which makes me really happy because I think it's a lot easier for most of us to wear. Um, I love this Bexley Linen Blend Dicky jacket from Veronica Beard. You know, she's one of my favorite sources for jackets. If you're looking for great blazers, I like Smith. I like Veronica Beard, um, Argent. Uh, Saint Cassette all do really, really good blazers. Um, good American does a great um, kind of dupe on the Veronica Beard scuba jacket that's $149 instead of $650. This is their classic sculpted uh, scuba jacket and I think it's fabulous. Um, a couple more tailored looks before I, I switch to the next trend. This is from ASOS. It's just using color, but it's a, that three-piece suit look, right? With the, with the blazer, the pants, and the vest. Um, this outfit from Vince, the double-breasted crepe suit blazer here with um, the pants. Again, they've got that monochromatic column in this wine color, and I think it's just absolutely beautiful. So tailoring, 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 huge trend. Again, this is a trend that you probably already have in your closet, but if you feel like shopping for an update, there are plenty of options available at every price point. Okay, the next trend I want to talk about is basics. Um, I've, I've heard this called norm core or like everyday style, like, but these are the pieces that are in my essentials checklist. Again, that essentials catalog for your body type is available to you if you sign up for the body type video series. These are the pieces that they're talking about. They're talking about a t-shirt and jeans and a blazer. They're talking about a button down shirt and black pants. They're talking about a cardigan worn with a tank and shorts or whatever. So it, these are the basic essential pieces that we talk about all the time. These are the workhorse pieces of your wardrobe worn together in a really simple and streamlined way. So it's basics with basics with more basics. That's that's the, the theme of this whole look. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of my favorite basics brands so that you've got some ideas and, and some shopping sources. Of course, everything is always linked in the catalog, but Mott & Bow is one of my favorite sources for jeans and for tees, and they also have amazing cashmere sweaters. So definitely check those out. Three of the basic pieces that we're seeing on repeat in, in trends this season. Um, Everlane is another great source, and you can see the way that these, they, these outfits are put together. I chose these images because these are the looks that we're seeing, um, these basics worn with basics um, as, as outfits. Um, this is from Everlane. They've got, these are their black dream pants with a kick flare. It's a new silhouette in the dream pants and then um, a sweater and then some chunky, it looks like loafers. Um, Lily Silk, one of my favorite sources for um, high quality silk, cotton, and linen basics. They have 
fabulous, fabulous pieces. This striped blouse that's in this um, picture is one of my favorites. And um, so that Lily Silk is a great source for basics. Kuyana is an, another direct to consumer brand that sells really high quality basics at uh, reasonable prices. Um, reasonable for the quality, like good prices for the quality. Um, this is another kind of basic look from Kuyana. So you can see there are basics at every price point for every um, for every woman and it's really just about wearing your basics in simple and classic ways that won't make you cringe when you look back at September or October 2023 in pictures. Okay, um, I covered um, metallics, I covered the silhouettes, I covered dark romance, I covered tailoring, I covered basics. Now we're gonna go into Western. Now I live in Central Florida where, I mean, it's not South, it's not Western, like, you know, maybe like Tennessee is Western or like Texas is Western, but we definitely have our share of country music lovers here and we definitely have, a, a, you know, cowboy boot stores and a lot of a lot of those influences um, where I live. I have never been into Western wear. It just has never been my thing. But this season I am I'm really an inspired to try maybe some cowboy boots. The easiest way to pull off the Western trend, of course, is with an accessory. So whether you want a cowboy boot that maybe is a little tongue in cheek Western, like maybe it's hot pink or maybe it's metallic or maybe it's just really funky and really over the top. Um, or whether you want to try a cowboy hat. I love this lavender cowboy hat. Like, I mean, this is from Gladys Temes. Oh my gosh, like how cool is that? Like it's the coolest, coolest cowboy hat. Whether you want to try um, a belt. This one from Ada that has a little bit of fringe on it is kind of cool. Um, those are those accessories, like a, a hat, a belt, um, boots are going to be just one of the easiest ways to pull off um, this Western look. Now, if I was going to do all on all, if I was going to go all in on Western and I had an unlimited budget, I'd probably go for this Tom Ford tailored iridescent sable Western pants, and like that would be that's my version of. Western. It's not like rodeo Western. It's high glam, high fashion Western, but I absolutely love it. Um, if you're looking for fun glam Western at a more accessible price, this Azalea Wing uh, Western Fringe and Stud Full Leather Jacket. It's only $120. It's a little over the top. It's so much fun, but it is that glam Western that we're seeing. Um, there's also a really cool, this is from Golden Goose, I think this this handbag. Um, it's it's got that Western inspired kind of you know color palette and details on it. Um, I love these little Stetson drop earrings from Set in Stones. Oh my goodness, how cute are those? So you can go all in. You can go and just a, a smidge like I plan on um, on this Western. Uh, trend and you can't go wrong. But I have lots of other pieces from um, a Saint Laurent denim shirt that's Western, you know, Western inspired uh, to um, this beautiful, It's they call it the Western blue cuff bracelet from Christina Green. Um, like I said, there's something out there for everybody if you just want to dip your toe into the Western trend. And for those of you who this is already a part of your personal style, maybe you live the ranch or um, Western lifestyle already. Maybe this is already something that you love. You can. This is a great opportunity to pick up a couple of new pieces for your collection at great prices. Okay. Um, I need to get through these trends. There's so much to cover. The next thing I want to talk about is sweaters. It's it's just so funny because you know that that line at the beginning of uh, Devil early in Devil Wears Prada where she says, "Florals for spring." groundbreaking, right? I love that line. Florals for spring, groundbreaking. I want to say that about some of these trends. Really sweaters and leather for, for fall? Groundbreaking, like come on, come on. We know that sweaters are something that people wear in the fall. We know that leather is something that you can pretty much only wear in the fall and winter. We know that denim, something else I'm gonna be talking about, is something that comes on really strong in fall and winter. And plaid and dark florals, like some of this stuff you're like, I know, it's every single season. Every single season you're gonna see sweaters. Obviously, obviously, but Sweaters. Sweaters are a big trend, and yes, we're seeing a slight tweak and slight updates in the sweaters. We're seeing really sculptural sleeves, balloon sleeves, puffed sleeves. Um, these aren't like, completely new, but I'm just going to show you a couple of the ones that I really like. I like this one from French Connection, the Mozart Mixed Stitch Cotton Sweater. It's a great early fall sweater for those of you in cooler climates where you, maybe you're not going to do the wool yet. 
Um, this one from a company called French, um, the striped button shoulder sweater. It's very affordable, under $50, but that's a really cool higher end looking sweater at a great price. Um, that kind of is really in keeping with some of the trends I'm seeing right now. I'm seeing a lot of sweaters that hit at the waist, which is great because you're not, you know, you're getting some bulk in the, in the shape of the sweater itself and in the sleeve, but it's not like overwhelming and super, super long. Um, I love this one from the variega variegated um cable crew sweater from one state i think that's a really cool sweater notice the the cool sleeves on that um the boxy boucle sweater from top shop another great option um i love that one and then this one from all saints the kira fray edge crew neck sweater this is a little bit slouchier a little bit bulkier but just a really cool sweater so yes sweaters are having a moment no surprise there no surprise there it's not groundbreaking um but they're everywhere and you might want to get an updated sweater with a cool silhouette or a cool sleeve if you if you're um so inclined this season okay Red and pink, red and pink. Red is the color of the season and pink is right at its heels. We've had Barbie core, we've had hot pink for a couple of years now and it's not going anywhere. Um, but we also have red, my favorite color, my favorite color. I never, ever, ever wear red without getting a compliment. So um, not not saying that there's any pressure on you guys to not break a streak, but if you think I, red is my color, you can tell me in the comments. But it is definitely my color, I have so much red. And red is one of those colors that just looks good on everybody. There is a shade of red for every woman. Um, whether you're gonna have a blue-based red or an orange-based red or a true red, there is a, there's a shade of red for every single woman. So this probably looks orange on camera, but this is one of my favorite. It's actually like a true lipstick red top from Trina Turk, um, but red is everywhere. So you can pull out the red dresses that you already have. And what we're seeing, which is unusual this season, is head-to-toe red. So I showed you the red suits where it's a red top, red jacket, red pants, or red shorts, but we're also seeing red dresses worn with red blazers and then red pumps and red purses. So the red purse, the red shoes, accessories are huge, but it's a head-to-toe lipstick red column of red look that I love and that's really fresh and new this season. So I'm going to show you a couple of red and pink pieces that I think you might like as much as I do. Um, and you know, with red, it, it's 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 one of those colors where it can look really fabulous, and it can also look a little cheap if you're finding pieces that are that are not either not great quality or you know, a little a little chintzy. You know the you know what I mean. So I'm finding the best of the best red pieces for you here. Um, this belted midi dress from Mango, I think, is just absolutely fabulous. It's a great. Uh, affordable uh, red option. This is from Bardot, the Kindred Midi Sheath Dress. I think it's really, really a cool, kind of a little bit more of a body conscious style. Um, from Equipment, this is there's a silk shirt dress that's beautiful. I feel like it's styled a little bit frumpily um, in this, I don't know, but the, the dress itself is amazing. One of my favorites is this um, from Laquan Smith, the Long Sleeve Square Neck Rib Midi Dress. Obviously, this is not for everybody, but we're seeing the the broad shoulder I'm seeing that a lot Jonathan Simkai has it now Laquan Smith has it and um, it's a very body con dress but you're seeing that hourglass silhouette everywhere um, if you want something a little bit more forgiving and a little bit more casual this one from Tommy Bahama the Mission Beach Midi shirt dress it's a great um, just everyday shirt dress that I think is really really fabulous but I mean we're seeing so much red we're seeing it everywhere I'm trying to see I mean there's just there's a lot here that I could share with you guys this v-neck uh, red dress from Eileen Fisher this is a cool red dress you want it to fit you like it fits this model where it lands above the the knee a little bit because I think that's going to be the most flattering and then if you want to go all out glam very very ladylike this belted silk shirt dress from Carolina Herrera uh, it's perfection Perfection, perfection. So red, red, red. Um, I'm gonna show you just a couple of hot pink pieces just because I you know, I can't not. Um, this Ilana short sleeve mini dress from Stodd. It's not gonna be that short on us unless you're as tall as the model, but I, this is such a cool dress. It's such a cool dress. It's not for everybody. I know it's very fashion-y, but I absolutely love it. Let me know in the comments if you love this dress like I do or if you think I'm crazy for sharing it because I know it's over the top, but I love it. Um, 
Lajeunesse always does these um, really cool pink suits suiting and this is their Pilar wide leg pants and jacket in this gorgeous hot pink. I have a hot pink suit. I wore it to the Barbie premiere, of course, not premiere, Barbie movie, of course, and I, I'm here for it. I love it. So red and pink, huge, huge, huge for fall winter fall and winter 2023 okay next trend i want to talk about is leather 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 now you can do pleather you can do faux leather you can do vegan leather you can do real leather but it's leather head to toe leather head to toe now this is this might be a little bit hard for some of us to pull off but we're seeing leather shirts we're seeing leather jackets we're seeing leather blazers we're seeing leather dresses we're seeing leather jumpsuits but we're seeing like full-on leather looks this is something you can dip your toe in if you want and just do like a leather moto uh, jacket. Like, you know, I've shared my my favorite one from the jacket maker. I'll pop up my code here. Um, th their their um, moto jackets are the best and they're custom made for you at a price that's like a department store price. So if you're looking for a real leather jacket, I would highly recommend that. Um, but we're seeing, like I said, all iterations of leather. I have a leather dress that I got last year. I believe it's from Seven for All Mankind. I got it at Marshall's. It's a black leather um, kind of baby doll style dress almost and I love it um and it's a great fall piece because it's 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 cool enough for I mean it's it's faux leather but it's not hot um I love this Louisa faux leather jacket from Saint Cassette that got a very very cool piece I and mean, we're seeing so many like interesting things being done with leather again not groundbreaking because this happens every fall but I think we're seeing even more leather than usual this um, this fall and winter um, let me show you a couple of the other leather pieces this um, wrap front faux leather skirt from open edit at Nordstrom very affordable that's a very cool and flattering leather skirt um, I love this Crolenda long sleeve faux leather shirt dress from French Connection also very um, reasonably priced and a beautiful um, option um, there are so many I love this one this looks so much more expensive than it is it's $129 but it's the belt belted faux leather shirt dress from Steve Madden um, absolutely love that if you're looking for something really wearable that you can use as a kind of an update to your existing pants and jeans and bottoms this um, better than leather faux leather wrap bodysuit from good American that's a fabulous way to just inject a little bit of leather into your wardrobe I also really like uh, not your daughter's jeans has their Maryland straight leg which is a lot of a lot of women's favorite um, silhouette for jeans they have it in faux leather um, for under a hundred dollars so you can't beat that seeing leather skirts seeing leather everything leather skirts leather jackets leather shirts leather bodysuits le you know everything so leather 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 again nothing new but very much so much fun for fall winter and I'm 100% here for it the final trend I want to talk about is denim and again like with leather we're not just seeing denim of course denim of course denim denim is a perennial denim is a, is a classic denim isn't going anywhere ever but it's denim on denim with more denim so we're seeing so much denim and we're seeing denim worn with denim and other denim on top of it. like so it's just a lot a lot of denim so whether you're doing head-to-toe denim or whether you're going to explore some of the new denim silhouettes not so new denim silhouettes right now like baggy really wide leg jeans really um, dramatically voluminous jeans are definitely trending right now so whether they're still we're still seeing them we're still seeing them I mean, you can still do a straight leg of course I'm still doing a straight leg and I'm gonna do a video where I try on a bunch of denim and um, a, a bunch of jeans like wide leg jeans and show you if you can really pull them off at 5 2 I just haven't gone into the stores and done that yet but I want to go in and try on some of these wide leg styles and kind of show you how we can fit them into real life wardrobes but wide leg denim is absolutely a huge trend but again denim shirts denim jumpsuits denim dresses denim skirts if you bought a denim skirt the last couple of seasons it's it's absolutely still happening right now so I'm going to show you this um, weightless denim jumpsuit from good American um, like I said head to toe denim it's a cool way to to to, to wear a denim head to toe and not have to worry about putting pieces together um, this organic button front denim skirt from Faraday that is a, just a cool flattering denim sort of pencil skirt style um, the ex-boyfriend denim shirt from favorite daughter this is a cool relaxed denim shirt that's kind of an update on the chambray shirt that many of us already have uh, not that there's anything wrong with your chambray shirt absolutely bring that out wear it with your jeans you, you've got the head to toe denim look 
Um, the fringe denim shirt dress here from Bella Doll. I think that's a really cool, easy, wearable shirt dress. Frank and Eileen does a version of this in denim as well that is beautiful. So you're, we're really looking at denim, 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 denim. And uh, like I said, stay tuned for my video on, um, on how I can wear denim, especially some of the baggier denim at 5'2". Um, so we can all we can all kind of learn from each other how to style some of these new denim pieces. So that's it, my 10 key trends for fall 2023. These are pieces that, like I said, that you probably already have in your wardrobe and take what you have, work with what you have, always start with what's in your closet and then update as needed. If you see trends here that just speak to you, they speak to your heart like red and metallics for me and they just make you so happy, then it's it's awesome to invest in a couple of new pieces that you're going to be able to mix and match with what you've already got in your closet and um, create some new and updated outfits for fall. Um, or if you're just going to stick with what you have and sit this one out, you can do that as well. But I would encourage you to, to play with your clothes in new ways for fall and winter 2023 to explore some of these trends starting with what you have in your own closet um, and definitely check out all the resources in my description box below you just click more underneath the title of the video and it opens up the description box i have the catalog where all of these items can be found i have a blog post for every video and then i've got the link to my body type video series so i love you guys love hanging out with you always this went over and and is a little bit longer than i expected but thank you for hanging out with me till the end if you did um, don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video um, comment below let me know what your favorite trend was I can't wait to hear it let me know in the comments what trend you like the most and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so we can keep hanging out love you I'll see you in the next video bye